can you show me your uh, your best Vanna White? What the? Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Look at that. Hey everybody, Mike from HC Auto Sport again. I'm here with uh, Kyle and Ben. Hey, on. There they are in the background. We've been, as you guys can see, we've been extreme. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm doing work. <laughs> but Kyle, stop for one second. Ah. Take the camera, show the fine folks in YouTube land what you have going on. Let's go through what, uh, what I'm working on. You've probably seen this on you know, a few time attack builds uh, or, or motorsport uh, full race cars. But what this will do is it'll allow some of the high pressure air inside the wheel well from that spinning wheel, the brakes, uh, to exit out the fender uh, rather than building up inside causing front end lift. Today, we're gonna do a quick DIY on how to do louver vents. So here in the fender, we wanted to make sure that we weren't getting any air trapped up above this panel that we added in uh, to vent the lower area of the fender well. So we added a series of louvers here. This isn't a kit, it's not a you know piece or part that you buy. Uh, it just takes some basic hand tools and uh, a little bit of patience. Tape measure, ruler, Sharpie, and a Dremel tool is, is really all you need. We're just gonna do a quick uh, drawing here with Sharpie just to lay out what the plan is and check everything and make sure that it's what we want before we start cutting. So I freehanded the other side, but it's usually easier to get good results if you make a template. So we're just gonna make a quick cardboard template over here um, to capture this curved profile on the fender. Take a nice piece of your handy dandy Amazon box that I'm sure you've ordered parts from, and we're just gonna drop this right along the fender. That pretty much captures our fender profile and then use it as a template for the trailing edges or leading edges, since it's both louvers in one, uh, to set those up. I'm doing it the old school way. I'm doing it cheap and easy way. Here's the smart way. This, well, it's from Harbor Freight. It's called the Angleizer, which is the cheesiest name ever. Uh, what it actually is is a, a contour profile gauge. So it's got all of these little fingers and it's used for getting complex shapes I use it for making brackets. I think it's primarily intended for uh, doing interior trim, furniture, woodworking, but you just lay it down along whatever surface you want, and that's what you get. There you go. And then you don't have to worry about the cardboard, you don't have to cut stuff. You just basically use this profile and it'll stick right exactly where it is. We're uh, ready to move on and basically just go through, cut it all out, put you on time lapse here, and uh, you'll see the vents start to take shape. Well now, all we do is just go through and we just push down on the front edge of the louver until it's at the angle that you want. Just pop a couple more in. There we go. That's fender vent number two. So got our got our vent here, louvers here, and the other side's done. That's a wrap for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, get out and get in the garage and start making some stuff. This is definitely an easy project with some basic tools that uh, with a little patience, anyone can make a really nice result uh, in their own garage or their own car. I probably wouldn't do this on fresh paint 
uh, my hand's not that steady, maybe yours is, but um, the great thing is that, you know, is this, you know, is it functional? Absolutely. Does it look good? Well, you be the judge. I think it looks pretty great. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later in the build. You guys might have seen this on a lot of time and tag cars, a lot of Pikes, Pikes Peak. Man, you can't say that to save your life. Pikes Peak cars, dang it. All right. All together. You guys probably see this a lot on time attack cars and a lot of Pikes Peak builds.